Hi, I'm Sykra Yassin, and in today's lesson on character foundations, we are studying the nose. In the next few minutes, you will learn how to create the basic structure of a generic nose that you can alter to create any kind of human nose you'd like. So let's get to it. To help you understand the structure of the nose, I've chosen to draw the same nose in four views. Front, side, three quarters, and as seen from below. This is because you can't really understand the structure until you can see it in your mind as a three-dimensional object. So I'm going to start with the bridge of the nose. Now in the front view, this simplified form looks a little bit just like a rectangle. But from the side view, we can see the angle this has. from a three-quarter view. And from below. Next, I'm gonna draw in the septum. Septum is the piece of skin goes under the nose and connects to the upper lip. Next I'm going to add the ball of the nose. I'm going to draw in the wings of the nostril. So I start by getting in the outer edges. Then I just put in the nostril itself. Now you'll see if I were to zoom into this area. If this is the nostril, there is a gap between the wing and the nostril itself, and you want to make sure that that's there. Sometimes noses vary. You may get a nose that looks like this. but. The structure is the same, it's just that this has been hidden below. Now in the side view, we keep the same thing in mind keep a little bit of gap between the nostril and the wing of the nose. And then the nostril goes towards this ball. Now it doesn't really touch the septum here, so again there's a bit of a gap here. And what happens with the septum is it goes down and actually curves up. and you end up with a pocket here. And that's what we see as a nostril. Now it gets really complicated in the three-quarter view, but we have to remember the things we pointed out in the front and the side view. So the septum, for instance, comes down, and then it points back up this direction. And 
Now we have the wing of the nostril and then the nostril itself. It goes towards this ball and then it stops. Now from below, what you have to remember is that the mouth is actually curved. That is, it's on a curved surface. If you use your hand and you feel over your mouth, you'll notice that there is a curve that's quite extreme. And the nose has to sit on top of that. So when we get in the wings of the nose, of the nostril, we have to keep in mind how that sits on the curved structure of the mouth. I'm just going to indicate the lips. give you a better idea of what I'm talking about. Now you'll notice here that the furrow in the mouth corresponds with the septum. It comes down points up and then you get this furrow and the nostrils So let's go over once more the important structures. You have the bridge, you have the septum, the ball of the nose, and then the wings of the nostril. Now there's a couple of other things to keep in mind. One is that at the top of the nose, there's bone, and then it turns into cartilage. But where this bone is, sometimes you'll see a flat surface or a flat plane before it turns into the plane of the eyebrow or the eye ridge. The other thing to keep in mind is the angle of the nostril and this whole area. If I shade it in using lines that follow the form, we see the form come this way, then it goes down, but then it starts to blend pretty evenly into the cheek.
Now because of this, it's often not necessary to have a line here, this line from here to here. Just by indicating the nostril, we can get away with having a line here. But you can, at the top, indicate this. which is where the eye socket meets the nose. The few lines I can indicate where the bridge of the nose is. And by drawing little marks like this instead of a line like this or like that, it can give a softer feel for how the nose down and then blends into the cheek. Now there's many different variations on noses, but all noses have a bridge, they have a septum, ball, or the bulbous part of the nose, and nostrils. Once you understand the similarities between noses, you can look for these shapes and see how they vary.